UCLA team that just keeps on scoring goals. One, two, three, four, five straight games. They have scored at least three goals. UCLA in the gold going right to left. UCSB, Santa Barbara going left to right in the blue tops. First foul of the game, and UCSB is a team that plays a physical style. That is their 419th foul of the season. 57 yellow cards, 10 ejections. And there'll be more of that today. I think they're going to have to foul a little bit more than they're used to. And that's, that's saying a lot. Ball popping up in the box, not cleared out until late bang there by Alfonso Mota Galvan, one of the new players starting today for the Gauchos. Two adjustments personnel wise to go with an alignment alteration for UCSB. We'll get to their starting 11 in a second. But first, their opening chance, and that one snuffed out there by Brad Russin, solid central defender for UCLA, big six foot four sophomore. And there's Russin again doing the defense. Freshman Michael Stevens losing it. Nick Pereira spinning by. Square ball almost intercepted. Finds Eric Avila. Bring it back to Tyler Rosamund. Back to Avila. The matchups, interestingly enough, uh, Rob, are pretty similar. Avila's a little quick guy that, that, that Folk's got to keep his eye on. And I, I think the matchup of Pereira versus Rosen is very similar to, to the great job that Rosen did on Ryring from the University of Virginia. So simple. Yeah, the jobs are simple. They know what exactly what they have to do back there. UCLA beat Virginia yesterday in the first semifinal. Four goals, all coming in the second half. 4-0 final line. Game number two went through two overtimes, scoreless, and into penalty kicks before UCSB knocked off Wake Forest. Now obviously, you want to get to the final, but this is a case of the best case scenario for, for UCLA and the worst case scenario for Santa Barbara to have to play that long and have that quick of a turnaround, but still an interesting game. Trying to lay one off. Rosenlund, Rosenlund still alive, looking for options in blue. Wide open, 1-0 UCFB, just like that. Nick Pereira had a woeful semifinal game, but oh, did he come to play in the finals. He expected this start. I'll tell you what, though. I mean, it's one of the things that Tim Von Sieg said. He said, you know, the only way you're going to beat UCLA is you're going to have to go at him. The tackle wasn't there. He get behind the defense, and Pereira just finds himself in a great spot off the post and in. Very similar to yesterday's game against Virginia. UCLA was very lucky to get out of there without it being 1-0 early. Rosewell just